Hi guys, thanks for coming on to this channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notifications every time the video goes up. Like this video, share this video, comment on this video. Now let's get into this. Okay, so I'm sure most of you know by now an article that says here Assassin's Creed Odyssey has two leads because Ubisoft execs believe women don't sell. Saying in this article that in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Assassin's Creed Origins, most of the role went towards the male counterparts. The female counterparts' role were quite less. This is because they believe that women don't sell, which I don't believe is true because we have the stats and facts which I will present later in this video that just busts this myth. Anyway, it says here, furthermore, this is according to a Bloomberg report that further affirms a surge of abuse allegations against senior members of the company that have been widely reported over the last month. So yeah, that's definitely not a, a good look for um, Ubisoft, for sure. A new report from Bloomberg revealed that Assassin's Creed titles were originally going to give female protagonists much larger roles. Developers were, were reportedly told that female protagonists don't sell miss the allegations Ubisoft talked from Ubisoft. I don't know why they think that women don't sell but diversity highlighting various characters in this games as examples. I've got a tweet here by Jason who's a reporter who says over the past few weeks I've talked to more than 40 current and former Ubisoft employees about sexual misconduct and abuse allegations. Their accounts make one thing clear Ubisoft has known about these problems for years. So this is definitely not a good look for Ubisoft. Would it hurt their sales in the future? Probably. I mean, time will tell. It's hard to tell about these things, but um, this is definitely not a good look for Ubisoft. It's a good thing that, you know, this is coming up now in, in the open. We've got a Twitter that says, women don't sell what a horrendous take. Gender of the lead character doesn't matter as long as you have solid graphics and a good story to tell. Ubisoft hasn't had the latter in years. In my experience playing Ubisoft games, I mean, I love the Assassin's Creed games, the one for the for the PS3, like the Ezio um, collection. I played the Assassin's Creed Origins, and I have to admit, it's one of the first few games where I didn't really bother about the, the cutscenes. The story just didn't intrigue me at all. I probably skipped about 70% of the cutscenes but with this Assassin's Creed Odyssey I'm definitely going to start watching the cutscenes and see you know how it plays out but I think if you have a good story, good graphics, good gameplay but a good story to tell I think that's the main thing that sells a game. I mean last, The Last of Us Part 1 story wasn't much about the gameplay, much about the graphics per se but definitely the story was the number one factor the reason why I was so and we've got the next tweet that says here I'm still thinking how women don't sell makes sense if you have a good story people are gonna like it on top of that Ubisoft is not treating their workers well big red flags yeah pretty much what I've said doesn't make any sense why they would say that and you've got someone who have written this here there's plenty of other female characters out there hailing from moderately successful or even unsuccessful games who are still separately written. There's also women that might not be the star of the show but are nevertheless brilliant. The purpose of this list was to highlight that putting a female character in a lead role doesn't spell failure. It was also to point out that well-written characters can come in many different forms from the no-nonsense Jane Shepard to the meek Max Caulfield. Caulfield? Yeah. These characters come in all shapes and size, sizes and offer unique voices to stories they're in. So it is a real loss if marketing departments fear rocking the boat. To make these women out of their games would take away something special. A gaming industry that isn't scared about bringing new voices into its stories is one which will be more free and more creative. I will give you right now the list of actually before I give you the list 
is in our tree here. It says an Ubisoft HR document from 2019. This reported to the employees in Canada and reviewed by Business Insider said that the first response to sexual harassment should be to talk to the harasser rather than to a manager or HR. I don't know how that makes sense because obviously if you have any issues at work, the you know, first person you should contact is the, the manager or the HR, someone who's in charge in your department. I mean, how can you... Why would you want to talk to us? It doesn't make sense at all. This is, I don't know why. I mean, that's just, that's a big red flag for me if this is true. But what I will do now, the stats and the facts of games that have sold millions of copies featuring female lead characters. We've got the Horizon Dawn. By February 2019, that game has sold 10 million copies. Tomb Raider, a definitive edition, of, as of November 2017, that game has sold 11 million copies. Rise of the Tomb Raider, as of November 2017, that game has sold 7 million copies. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, as of December of 2018, that game has sold 4.12 million copies. Hello Blade, as of June 2018, that game has sold a million copies. Mirror's Edge, as of June 2013, that game has sold 2.5 million copies. Alien Isolation, as of May 2015, that game has sold 2.11 million copies. We've got the most recent Resident Evil 3, as of May of this year, that game has sold 2 million copies. And Uncharted The Lost Legacy has sold 1 million copies. So the stats and the facts, Buster Smith, that you have this saying that women don't sell in video games that female lead female led character cannot sell video games and these stats and facts have bust that myth as long as you have a good story good gameplay some decent graphics i think that's the main thing that's what makes our the core of a game awesome it doesn't matter you know who the lead is per se Obviously, you've got The Last of Us Part 2. They said I sold over 4 million copies. So, I don't understand where Ubisoft are going with this. But let's just swap as a change for the good in the future. And it will be interesting to see the future of Assassin's Creed games in the future. We've got one called the Van Hala that's coming this Christmas time. But I want to see what, what they do after that game. So yeah, we'll see. So thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, put the thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment. I'll try my best to answer to each and every comment that I can. And then yeah, thank you for watching this. I'm on Twitch also. I stream every week. Give me a follow there. I appreciate that a lot. And I will be trying my best to release as many videos in the near future. Thank you very much.